kindly subscribe to our youtube channel to watch the full lecture hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's video let us solve a problem in which they have asked us to prepare the journal entries also as well as capital reduction account also as well as a reconstructed balance sheet the question is on the screen please take the screenshot of the question or at least keep the question when i am explaining the problem so that you can understand it in a better way following is a balance sheet of u limited company as on 31st march 2022 so they have given a balance sheet so in which liabilities are there then assets are there as usual now the additional information please concentrate on that the company is reconstructed as follows though they have decided to reconstruct the company shares of rupees 100 are to be reduced to an equal number of fully paid shares of rupees 40 each so we have 19000 shares of rupees 100 each that 100 each will be converted into 40 rupees that will be our first journal entry now the second entry will be to issue 1000 new shares of rupees 40 each as fully paid up to debenture holders in full settlement now the debenture holders we are settling it fully by issue of 1000 shares of rupees 40 each the amount made available is to be utilized in writing off the goodwill and profit and loss account and the balance in writing down the value of machinery so whatever the capital reduction account balance we will get using that capital reduction account balance we need to write off first goodwill and pnl account apart from that whatever the balance will be left over we need to reduce the value of machinery now authorized capital of the company is 20000 shares of rupees 100 each that we need not bother while entering the journal entry that will be considered in the preparation of balance sheet give the necessary journal entries prepare capital reduction account and constructed balance sheet now here see here first entry what they are doing they are reducing 100 rupees value share into 40 rupees so write the now let us see how to pass the journal entry it will be share capital account this is old one so totally 19000 shares were there each shares value was rupees 100 which is nothing but 19 lakh to we are converting it into 40 rupees so to share capital account new means the same 19000 shares we are converting it into 40 rupees which is nothing but 19000 into 40 when you do that you will get 7 lakh 60000 the remaining balance whatever you will get we need to transfer it to capital reduction account to capital reduction account so from this 19 lakh minus 7 lakh 60 thousand so 19 lakh minus 7 lakh 6 thousand will be 11 lakh 40 thousand that we are transferring it into capital reduction account because they have sacrificed this much amount for us the narration will be being share value reduced this is a first journal entry now what is the second journal entry we are issuing new shares to settle the debentures so debentures account what is the value of debentures it is 1 lakh so we are settling this 1 lakh by issue of equity shares so to equity share capital account so totally we are issuing 1000 shares of rupees 40 each so 40000 the remaining balance will be transferred to capital reduction account capital reduction account so 1 lakh minus 40000 it will be 60000 the narration for this will be being debentures settled being debentures 
settled this is the second journal entry now we need to pass the third journal entry that is to write off all expenses and losses so for that first i need to take capital reduction account so here capital reduction account is 11 lakh 40 thousand and here it is 60 thousand so add 11 lakh 40 thousand plus 60 thousand it will be 12 lakh first they have told us to write off the value of goodwill and pnl account so to goodwill account what is the value of goodwill goodwill value is 2 lakh second they have told us to write off pnl account so what is the value of pnl account 9 lakh 70 thousand next we're using the remaining balance we need to write off the machinery now from 12 lakh minus 2 lakh and subtract 9 lakh 70 thousand you will get a balance of 30 thousand this balance should be used to write off plant and machinery so to plant and machinery account so the narration will be being capital reduction account being capital reduction account adjusted we have adjusted now we have finished passing the journal entries the second thing what we need to pass we need to pass the uh, ledger account we need to prepare a capital reduction account ledger account in this always first what we need to do in the debit side write off all the losses which we have written off so here we can see it here first we have written off goodwill goodwill account we have written off how much 2 lakh so to goodwill account we have written off how much totally we have written off 2 lakh rupees value of goodwill so 2 lakh second thing we have written off pnl account so we need to write that here to pnl account how much we have written off 9 lakh 70 thousand finally we have written off plant and machinery account 30 thousand so to plant and machinery account plant and machinery 30 thousand so here we have settled the debentures isn't it we have settled the debentures before that we have first converted 100 rupees share into 40 rupees share see first we have they have converted equity shares so 100 rupees was the share that has been converted into 40 rupees means 60 rupees uh, the uh, each equity shareholders have sacrificed how much 100 rupees it though 100 rupees na 40 rupees ge issue maadi dare andre 60 rupees na avaru sacrifice maadi dare anta so totally how many shares are there 19000 shares are there in that they have sacrificed 60 rupees when you multiply you will get 11 lakh 40 thousand rupees see here two capital reduction account they have 11 lakh 40 thousand next debentures debentures also they are sacrificing debentures how much they are sacrificing debentures are sacrificing here two capital reduction account 60,000 they are sacrificing debentures holders are sacrificing 60,000 now add both the side you will get 12 lakh and 12 lakh so this is how we need to prepare the capital reduction account now final thing what we need to prepare for this particular problem is balance sheet let us see how to prepare the balance sheet so this is the format of preparing balance sheet this is as on 31st march 2022 first always we need to take equity and liability component equity and liability component in the additional information they have told about the authorized capital so in that first we will take share capital in that what they have told in the additional information the company has an authorized capital so first write that authorized capital 
authorized capital how much 20000 shares into 100 each so which means the company is having an authorized capital of 20 lakh rupees the second thing comes that is the shares so they have reduced the number of shares isn't it so next comes that is equity shares if you see the first journal entry we have 19,000 shares of 40 each so how much we have 19,000 shares of 40 each how much it is 7,60,000 next if you see the second journal entry for debentures again we have issued equity shares that is 1000 into 40 so we have again issued 1000 shares of rupees 40 each so 1000 into 40 will be 40,000 if you add both you will get 8 lakh rupees this is all about share capital next we don't have any liabilities but we have only current liabilities we have current liabilities there is no reserve and surplus nothing is there in this problem under current liabilities we have Creditors. Creditors, there is no additional information given. So there is no journal entry also. So write that amount directly 1 lakh rupees. So while adding, neglect this 20, 20 lakh authorized share capital because it is authorized. Means for which company can issue. Add only 8 lakh and 1 lakh which is 9 lakh. So this is the totals of liabilities side what we are having. Totals of liabilities. The second component comes that is B component that is assets under the assets first one comes that is non-current assets so we don't have any non-current assets in our problem the second thing comes that is sorry in non-current assets we are having fixed assets first one what we are having that is land and building so land and building there is no additional information so write the 1 lakh rupees directly next comes machinery machinery actually the balance sheet value is 2 lakh 60 thousand if you see third general entry we have written off 30 thousand value so it comes 2 lakh 30 thousand next we are having furniture for furniture also there is no any additional information given so write that 20 thousand as it is next we have stock okay next sorry this is all current assets so next we have current assets that first component which we are having is stock stock also no additional information is given so write that 370000 as it is next we are having datas datas is 180000 no additional information write it as it is so now add all this 1 lakh, 2 lakh, 30,000, 20,000, 3 lakh, 70,000 and 1 lakh, 80,000. You will get a total of 9 lakh. So this is the total of assets side. Assets total. This is how you need to solve the problem. Hope you have understood this problem very well. Please practice the problem by yourself. If you get any doubt while practicing the problem, Please send your queries in the comment box. We will try to respond to your queries as soon as possible. Thank you. If you have any queries regarding today's session, kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com.